cool Land Cruiser. Like, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna test drive this thing. He's warning me that they are pretty underpowered. Cool. Linkers work. Wow, this thing's cool. So I showed Desiree the listing to this ad, and this is the first time ever she's shown interest in any vehicle. I've showed her the Bronco, Jeeps, I've showed her other Subarus. Uh, she just didn't really feel any of them. She's always wanted an older car that just sort of reflected her personality and her style, and um, there was nothing really that she liked enough to care. We show up, and the car, Interior-wise, looks great. The body looks really, really good for its age. There's no rust. There's a few small distracting things like flickering LED lights. Um, the brake rotors were warped. The guy had just done the brakes, but he didn't take the time to replace the rotors. He included the rotors, and so the, the truck had that like warped rotor shake when you hit the brakes. He said he's selling it because he couldn't figure out what, why it vibrated when he drove. Um, Y'all should feel my car. <laughs> but uh, uh, if it has a vibration problem, it's probably the drive line or out of balance tires. Oh, I do feel it. I do feel that for sure. I'm sure it's something we could figure out. It did have some trouble shifting, which I felt was probably related to just having low transmission fluid or it wasn't warmed up. After the car was warmed up, it was shifting perfectly fine. And Des and I both agreed, this is a sweet buy. And I talked to some Land Cruiser friends of mine at BF Goodrich, and they said, that's a good deal. You should buy it. Shift. It's interesting. This thing is cool. This thing's so retro and rad. Oh my gosh. What a perfect wife car. There it goes. Let's figure out these wiper situation here. Hola. You said you wanted an older vehicle. It's older. How do you feel? I feel okay. It, I like the visibility. It rumbles a little bit, something on the pedal when it breaks. So we buy this thing and it's, it's pretty apparent that it's having some issues. And so we decide let's not drive it uh, too much, but you can at least have a vehicle that you can take to the store if you need to, but let's not do any long distance trips until we get a chance to go through the transmission and replace some fluids and check out the brakes and whatnot. So I went on a trip to Idaho. On the way back, the oil pump on my Ford Raptor goes out, leaving me stranded and I had to drive the crawler to a U-Haul place to get all of this stuff that I had taken with me back. And you guys will see that series soon. Um, it's coming up, but I just wanted to get this video out because there's been a lot of people asking about the Land Cruiser lately. So now with the Ford Raptor, ow, ow, something, something bit me. Christmas Eve comes around and I check the transmission fluid. It looks good, it smells fine. We are basically trying to decide if we take the Subaru STI and leave the dogs at home and just leave a door open, never a good idea, or take the Land Cruiser and take the dogs with us to go visit my mom, which she's two hours away. I made the decision, let's take it to Everett. It should be fine, we'll make it. We're driving Desiree's new car, which is a rather rare uh, 1989 FJ62. We're stuck in traffic. And look what happens to be right next to us. A fully built 8962. How random is that? You never see these, and now there's two side by side in traffic. On the way to Everett, we get that overheated transmission fluid light again, but it's right as we're arriving to my mom's house. So I just drop, park the truck, go inside, have Christmas, no big deal. The next day, we try to leave Everett, and it won't come out of first gear. We pull over, and I check the transmission fluid, and it's burnt, it's, it's brown, it stinks, it smelled like like burnt pretzels and cow shit, like mixed into one batter and baked. 
So it's Christmas morning, there's no automotive shops open, there's no auto zone, there's nothing. So I stopped at a gas station, I found a bottle of uh, transmission fluid and I put it in the car and it starts working better. So we're like, sweet, okay, maybe it was just low on transmission fluid. When we get home, we'll do a huge transmission fluid flush, get the whole thing fixed up, it'll be no problem. Well, current situation. Uh, it is Christmas day, we're driving home from my mom's house. The Land Cruiser, transmission overheated and started dumping transmission fluid everywhere. We pulled over, letting it cool down. The only restaurant open is this place here. It's called Soul Hot Dog. My dog Bentley has raging diarrhea. As you can see, it's spraying all over the place. And we're still about a solid hour and a half from home. It's really bad. Bentley, please don't shit in the Land Cruiser. I know that you have hot, steamy diarrhea. It's all over the place. I think that you're gonna be okay. I'm gonna go get a Korean hot dog and try to think this through, okay? Oh God, that's really bad. Oh my God. Essentially, we ended up getting stranded and had to have Korean hot dogs for Christmas dinner. Throughout all of this, my dog has terrible diarrhea and he's stinking up the whole car. Desiree is just not in the mood. She's mad at me because we bought this car that I promised was so reliable because it's a, it's a Land Cruiser, you know? And it's just falling apart in front of us and there was like heat and steam, and smoke coming up like into the cab. It, it was really bad and Desiree was really stressed out. And it was beginning to snow. You guys can sit up front. Oh, poor doggies. You're okay, doggies. Okay, shit. It's starting to snow now, too. This is crazy. Why today, though? Like, you know? How's it going, guys? <laughs> it's one of those days. All the snow caused branches from trees to fall and break all the power lines going out to our house. So our house has no power and the roads are so bad that it doesn't seem like we're going to have power for a while. We were able to plug in our Wi-Fi router, get cell phone service, and be able to call a tow truck to save our truck because we had the Jackery boxes. To us, no power means no water, no internet, no heat. These boxes really came in handy and they're just nice portable boxes. Please use the link in the description below when you're shopping for Jackery. It might help me recover a little bit from this Land Cruiser debacle. Okay, you wanna go the other way? Yep. Okay, lean with your foot this way. There you go, lean to turn it. Good. Daddy's gotta figure out how we're gonna get mom's car back, okay? Yeah, hopefully my phone works enough to get AAA. We ended up having to call my mom and she drove up and drove us home last night. And then we woke up this morning to no power uh, and a solid three, four inches of snow. And uh, we're pretty much down to our last vehicle, which is the Subaru STI. We have no water to the house because we're on a well. So I think I'm gonna go plug one of these guys in and uh, that way we can have water. Des is melting snow on the stove. I'm trying to come up with a plan to go rescue this car and, and it's frustrating because we just bought this thing. It was pretty expensive. So now, day after Christmas, it's Sunday. No shops are open. We've got a, I don't have a truck because the Raptor's still broken. And the Tacoma's broken. My crawler is in the shop. Uh, getting a roll cage on it, so I literally only have a Subaru and there's not much else we could do. So
we have to go to Federal Way in snow, deep snow. It snowed about eight inches in two days. Um, AAA couldn't help us out. None of my friends can really help us out because it's just so snowy. So we paid $1,800 for an emergency tow truck service, but we still got to drive an hour there in the Subaru STI to give them the keys. So hopefully nothing goes wrong today. We're going to go rescue this car. We're going to take it very careful and easy. But because this car is so cool, Desiree is going to film us. Right on. I'm super excited that it's snowy because I really want to take the Subaru STI, STI out and do some fun Subaru stuff, but I can't even risk the car uh, because if it goes down, we have no transportation whatsoever. So we end up having to hire a tow truck driver. It costs us $1,800. AAA said that they would reimburse this, but so far they have not reimbursed it. So we're just stuck here with this massive tow bill and we dropped the truck off at a local shop that has done some work for me in the past. Pumpkin shake. <laughs> <laughs> Save some for me. I think you're supposed to run away with it. Yeah, yeah, it jumped. <clears throat> Must have blown like a main seal. <laughs> Dropped the truck off at a local shop and they, of course, couldn't find parts for it but wouldn't let us supply any parts. And so we're sitting here and like, we rushed to have this car brought to you. We spent all this extra money so that we could get the car back, get it going so that she could have a transportation, I would have transportation so that we weren't down to one vehicle. I talked the company into installing a used transmission that I had bought from Descent Off Road, who's in Northern California, and hooked me up with a used uh, FJ62 transmission that had been taken out and painted and apparently it's supposed to look really good. I haven't seen it yet. Um, so while the shop is going to install this transmission, they discover that the transfer case internally is destroyed. All the bearings inside look like crap. There's a bunch of gunk in there and there's over a quarter inch of play in the idler shaft. And they're saying that they won't put it back together because it's a ticking time bomb and that I need to find more parts. Unfortunately, all the parts for, I mean, a lot of people's vehicles right now are sitting on ships out on the harbor and there's nothing to be found out there. And I'm serious, I did some serious digging. I talked to Torfab in Everett, I talked to Descent, I talked to a bunch of people. Eventually, the guys from Torfab gave me an itemized list of every individual part, every bearing, everything, so that we could buy it directly from Toyota, which would have cost a fortune. As of right now, I found a kit and ordered it, and they're saying that it's gonna ship. I hope it does. It, it's like the last kit out there for this thing and we're hoping to put the thing back together but that pretty much is the story of the Land Cruiser and I know that a lot of people are asking about it and I really wanted to wait until we got it back and I could tell the whole story but it looks like it's gonna be there for another couple weeks and so I figured I would just put this out there I don't know if you've ever regretted buying a vehicle or if you've ever been in my situation where you bought something and it just starts falling apart. It's not a good feeling, especially when it's such an old vehicle, it's a niche buy. Like it's, it would be really hard to turn around and sell it. And it was supposed to be this really kind gesture to my wife. I, I really wanted to get her the, the first car that she actually had interest in. And so um, it kind of stretched our wallet a bit to get it and it's falling apart. So it's really, really frustrating. Um, and I don't know what to do about it. I don't know if we should just continue fixing it up and it'll be reliable and enjoyable or, or what we should do, to be honest. Part of putting this video out is to help me decide what we do with the thing because we, we might wanna just patch it up and sell it to a guy that has more time to work on it and fix it. 
but at the same time I can I can really see us really enjoying the thing uh, so in retrospect watching the video watching the symptoms that it had I, I should have known that the transmission was about to go out I'm really hoping that the vibration that we were feeling is related to the transfer case. You know, I'm just not experienced enough. In the past, vibrations, driveline vibrations were just U-joints. So when I feel that, I'm like, oh, U-joint, that's easy to replace. Or like the warped brake rotors that it definitely has. You know, we're making the car kind of do that like bump, 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 bump feel when you're braking. That's easy enough to fix and replace and he even included brake rotors. So I was distracted by, you know, previous automotive wins I guess where you're like oh it's just nothing it's easy and it ended up sneaking up on me and and so far it's gonna cost us quite a bit because we're already 1800 for the tow 500 for the transmission 300 for shipping of the transmission and now 250 for the transfer case and I'm assuming two to four grand worth of labor and I really should have just done the transmission myself, but we are we are like in the middle of building and scaling our own business. I left the fire service about 10 months ago and we've been working really, really hard for the past 10 months to try to get to this point and I just can't, I'm so close to being able to like have my own personal free time again, but right now building our business and scaling it is priority. So I haven't been able to do any of the work myself. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I get a lot of um, really good feedback from you guys, and you guys really do help. I know that sounds weird, uh, but uh, doing these vlogs and stuff and kind of talking to this community helps me a lot. So I don't know, what, what do you guys think? Like, do you think it was a terrible buy? Uh, uh, it's, it's so crazy to think that I spent 24 grand on a car that's older than me, and I just thought, I thought that it was a good buy. The guy had said that the interior was done. They spent 16 grand on the um, the rebuild of this this car, and it looked gorgeous. I mean, it just mm. so I'm a little upset with myself to be honest, but I'm staying positive. I personally think that we can fix it up, and it's going to be a really really cool car. Um, but what do you guys think? And has this ever happened to you? What what did you guys? experience. Have you ever bought a lemon and been just totally disappointed with uh, your purchase? Uh, this is a first for me. I've always only ever been really, really pleased with, uh, with vehicle purchases. 